A new museum just opened up in Brooklyn, curated by a licensed psychologist. The Museum of Failure is a collection of projects and products from around the world that flopped. The museum is designed to help people take a meaningful look at mistakes and risks and accept that there's often progress hidden in failure. In the ancient world, failure was often acknowledged and atoned for with the giving of a korban, a sacrifice. When we use the word sacrifice today, we usually mean that someone is ready to give up something of personal importance for a belief or an ideal or to achieve a particular result. In this week's Torah reading, Shmini, Moshe said, this is what God has commanded that you do, that the presence of God may appear to you. Then Moshe said to Aaron, come forward to the altar and sacrifice your sin offering and your burnt offering, making expiation for yourself and for the people, and sacrifice the people's offering and make expiation for them as God has commanded. In other words, part of Aaron's job as a Kohen Gadol, a high priest, was to seek forgiveness for himself and his people. Failure was assumed with a job description because it's impossible to serve others as a leader and not make hundreds of mistakes. The atonement sacrifice only worked because the Kohen Gadol, the high priest, first cataloged his own transgressions, making him humbly aware of his smallness before he confessed on behalf of the people. So imagine for a moment, if all leaders today in every single field had their own day of atonement, when they had to spend an entire day both reflecting on their mistakes and carrying the wrongdoings of those they serve. Because the greatest act of responsibility as a leader is to hold the mistakes of others as your own. Responsible leaders must always reflect on the problems in a culture that they're ultimately responsible for that needs to be transformed by asking three essential questions. One, is there anything I could have done to prevent this problem? Number two, what did I contribute to this problem? Possibly by ignoring it or not taking it seriously enough. And three, what can I learn from the way I handled this problem that might prevent failure in the future? Ultimately, a leader is always a learner who understands the importance of direction, reflection, and course correction. So, what failure have you experienced that's been your greatest teacher?